Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss another video that I upload. Today we're doing logical reasoning part one. Let's get into it. Logical reasoning question number one: How many straight lines are there in the given figure? Let us count how many straight lines are there in the given figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. So there are thirteen straight lines in the given figure. Logical reasoning question number two. Mina remembers that her father's birthday is after eighteenth May, but before twenty second May. Her brother correctly remembers that her father's birthday is before twenty fourth May, but after twentieth May. On which date in in May was definitely their father's birthday. In order to find out this, we need to check. On which day are they both commonly saying that it is their father's birthday? So Mina remembers that her father's birthday is after eighteenth, but before twenty second May, which can include the dates nineteen, twenty, and twenty first May. Now let's move on to her brother. Her brother correctly remembers that her father's birthday was before twenty fourth May, but after twentieth May. This includes the date twenty first May, twenty second May, and twenty third May. So as we can see here, twenty first May is common in both of these assumptions. Mina's father's birthday could be on twenty first May, but there is no such option as twenty first May. So the answer is D. None of these. Logical reasoning question number three: Find the number of triangles in the given figure. We can see four triangles when each square is bisected by one diagonal. Number of such triangles is equal to four into the number of square, which is equal to four into four. That is sixteen. Now, we can say four triangles when each square is bisected by two diagonals. So, number of such triangles is equal to four into the number of squares bisected by two diagonals is equal to four into four. That is sixteen. We can see six triangles when we see with the adjoining figures. So total triangles is equal to number of squares bisected by one diagonal, two diagonal, and with adjoining figures that is thirty eight. Logical reasoning question number four: Identify the mirror image of the given figure if mirror is placed vertically to the left. Placing this figure in the mirror vertically to the left, we can see that a uh, image appears which is the same as the C option. Logical reasoning question number five: Identify the mirror image of this figure if mirror is placed vertically to the left. Same question: If we place it vertically to the left, we can see that the B option is correct. Logical reasoning question number six: A rat runs twenty meters to the east, then turns to the right and runs ten meters, then turns to the right again and runs nine meters. And again turns to the left and runs five meters. Then turns to the left and runs twelve meters. And finally, after all this confusion, it turns left and runs six meters. Now, which direction is the rat facing? The rat is facing the north direction. Logical reasoning question number seven. There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on the either side of the columns. Identify the relationship of the left pair and find the missing figure. So as we can see here in the first figure, they have drawn one vertical line and one horizontal line. Similarly, in the second figure, we are also going to draw a vertical line and a horizontal line. So if we do that, we can see that the image matching is the C option. Logical reasoning question number eight. There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on the either sides of the colon. Identify the relationship of the left pair and find the missing figure. In the first relationship, we can see in the first figure that the arrow is pointing northwards, and in the second figure, in the relation, we can see that the first arrow is pointing to the north side, and the second arrow is pointing to the south side. Which means that from the original figure, the other figure has turned 180 degree from the right. So similarly, if we do in the second relation and turn it into 180 degrees, we will get the same relation as D. Logical reasoning question number nine: Select a figure from the option in the given figure which is exactly embedded as one of its parts. 
This figure is exactly embedded in the figure D. Logical reasoning question number 10. Which of the following numbers will replace the question mark in the given series? In the given series, the series is 4 plus 2 that is 6, 6 into 2 that is 12, then 12 plus 2 that is 14, and 14 into 2 that is 28, and 28 plus 2 is 30, and 30 into 2 that is 60. Logical reasoning question number 11. In a row of boys, Aditya 7th from the start and 11th from the end. In another row of girls, Nutan is 10 from the start and 12th from the end. How many students are there in both the rows together? In order to find out find this out, we need to first add Aditya that is 7 plus 11. Now you might be wondering how I got 7 and 11. So from Aditya, since Aditya is the 7th, there will be 6 more people in front of Aditya. So including Aditya, there will be 7 people. And from the end, Aditya is 11th. So there are 10 more people from the end. Including Aditya will have 11. 7 plus 11 is equal to 18 students. But if you noticed, Aditya is being added 2 times. So we do not need 2 Adityas in this row of boys. So we will subtract 1 Aditya from 18 students that is equal to 17 students. So number of students in Aditya's row is equal to 17 students. Now number of students in Nutan's row similarly is equal to 21 students. So total number of students is equal to 38. Logical reasoning question number 12. If the given letters is written as the given another letters how will this letter be written in the code in the given letters the odd letters are repeated twice g is twice m is twice t is twice i is twice h is twice and e is twice so similarly if we do for the second set of letters we will get the b option logical reasoning question number three nisha starts to go to school on 22nd August. How many days did she go to school in the month of August if every Sunday is a holiday? So she started from 2nd August that is on Monday. So from 2nd August to 31st August and including the Sunday there are 30 days. Out of which 8, 15, 22 and 29 are holidays. So that is 4 days that are holidays. So, number of days she went to school is equal to 30 minus 4, which is equal to 26 days. Logical reasoning question number 14. Select the Venn diagram which represents the relation amongst the following. Whole numbers, integers and decimal numbers. Whole numbers are the numbers without fractions and it is a collection of positive integers and zero. Integers. Integers is a whole number that can be positive, negative or zero. But it cannot be a decimal number. A decimal number is a number that consists of a whole and a fractional part. So as we can see here, in integers we can put whole numbers and natural numbers. But decimal numbers is really out of these two topics. According to the explanation, C is the correct option. Logical reasoning question number 15. In the following question, the question figures are in a series. Choose the figure out of the four answers figures. Here, small shaded triangles at the top are increased by 1. In star diagram, the shaded part is rotated by 1 in clockwise direction. So, according to this rule, the D option is the correct option. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.